What's up everyone, it's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video and in this one we're going to be going over how to actually get $2,000 really early in the game. Alright, $2,000, I'm still in chapter 2 and this can be done very easily. Now the first thing we're going to get into is what you're going to need to get the first clue in terms of clothing and wardrobe. So if you go to your camp and you go to the chest, you can actually change up your clothes. Make sure that you have some winter clothing ready for this little journey we're about to go on. Now, the way that I have this set up, I have summer clothing and winter clothing on there. You know, two outfits. I believe you can save three, but I have those as two main outfits just so that I'm ready for, you know, the extremes. All right. The hot and the cold. So make sure that you have some winter clothing on there. And it's really actually it's simple to change, you know, once you're on your horse. But anyways, I'm going to show you on the map right now the location that we're going to be going to. Now, it's over here by Karen Lake, all right? I believe that's how that's said, Karen Lake. And you just want to set a waypoint right over there. It doesn't matter if you've been there or not yet. But once you've set that waypoint, make your way over there. It's probably going to take you a little while. The biggest thing about this, it's like I said, it's a journey. It's it's a lot of horse riding. But once you get up, you're, you're finally going to realize that the snow has, you know, you've reached the, the part of the mountain where the snow is still, you know, sitting up there because it's so cold. This is where you want to change to your winter clothing. All right, change to your winter clothing because the cold up there is brutal. It gets really bad. And don't forget about your horse. All right, give your horse some food, the necessary food it needs right now just to make sure that its health is good. Usually you just feed it one thing and its health goes straight up. So, yeah, and actually on the way up this mountain, I grew to that level four bond with the horse. I'm not sure if there's more. But once you make your way to that checkpoint, you're basically going to see a frozen little lake behind you right there. And you're going to see this little hut. This is where you want to go into. So go inside of here and underneath this bed is a lockbox. All right. So you want to inspect the lockbox and inside you're going to find a few things. But the main one that you need is the treasure map clue. OK, so there's about three treasure maps that we need to find. Uh, to actually get the $2,000. All right, so we have the treasure map plus a few more things, and I'm just going to, for some reason, put that away. <laughs> so there it is. That's what it should look like. And I'm going to show you on the map now where we're going to be headed to next. Okay, so if we pause and go to the map, we're going to be headed south. Okay, so from north to south, you want to head down over here. All right, just set a waypoint just right around there. All right, right by that pond. And once you've set your waypoint there, I'm going to get on my horse and we should be headed to that location. So this is where I set the waypoint right on this little road. Now, what you want to do is ride up the hill and you're going to see a few trees up here. You're going to see that really broken one right there, the brown one. And there's a smaller one uh, to the right. Yeah, there it is right there. So that's the one that we're looking for. All right. We're looking for this tree. And if you walk around it, you will actually see that there's a hole in it. And that's where the next clue is or the next treasure map, uh, whichever way you want to put it. But as you can see, I'm going to walk around. There's a hole and I can hold down square to search. So I'm going to search and find that there is actually another treasure map. All right. So there we go. We have our next clue. Uh, if you open it up, you can see what it is. And it's just a little clue to what we're going to be, you know, coming up with next. So there it is. Uh, it looks kind of like a snake and then that and then that. And yeah. So <laughs> what you want to do is go ahead and checkpoint this location right here on the map. All right. Just right there. I'm going to zoom out so you see where it is. It's right by that long river. So just checkpoint right there. And this is where we are at the moment. So I'm going to ride up over here and you can just take this little road uh, once you get you know close to this location. Take this dirt road and then you can start headed your way up, you know, headed up towards the hill. All right. Towards the right. So head up here. And what you're looking for is just a little patch on the ground or, you know, a little platform almost looking that's made of stone. All right. It's just like a stone platform and it's just a bunch of little stones that are all put together. So as you can see right there, it doesn't look man or it doesn't look natural at all. It's definitely man made uh, or animal made. So get off. And the next clue is actually inside of there, right? That's probably why there was a snake on that clue. So hold square and you can go ahead and search inside of here. All right. Once you've searched in here, then that is our next clue. And I believe that's our last clue until the final uh, treasure is found. So there it is. And as you can see right there, it's a picture of a waterfall. So that one's really simple. Uh, as you can see there, it's pointing straight at the waterfall. So you can almost assume what we're going to be doing. but. Yeah, I'm going to show you on the map exactly where that waterfall is. It's, you know, right here in this little lake or pond. 
you know, and um, yeah, so open up the map. It's right here. It's called Elysian Pool. And you want to make your way towards that part of the checkpoint that you see in the video. And that's the exact location of the waterfall. So this is what it looks like right here. You can go ahead and just take the uh, little bridge right here and make your way over to the actual waterfall. God, taking in the scenery, it's great. It really is. That's why I left these little clips in there. I'm not going to lie. It's just the scenery that I like looking at in this game that really impresses me. But yeah, once you head over here, this is the exact location of the waterfall. Just run straight into it. All right, don't be shy. Run straight into it. You're in the little secret cavern. And this is where you want to just jump up and it gets dark. So you want to take out your lantern. So open up your wheel, your little, you know, inventory wheel. And you should see the lantern in the bottom right, right by the knife. So just press R2 or RT on Xbox and it should switch to the lantern. There you go. So follow my exact path right here. Okay, so just keep going this way, follow the water, and once it starts opening up to the right here, you kind of see a little cliff, you actually want to head down. Alright, so right here, little cliff, start headed down, and you can walk nicely or you can just jump, kind of like what I did. You shouldn't get hurt if you jump from that distance, any higher and you'll probably get hurt a little. So keep moving and it'll force you to crouch down, and if you look directly to the right, you'll see a tiny little cave that you can crouch through. So you want to walk through here and start hugging the right side of the cave and make a right. All right, so it kind of, you know, forks off here. Make a right and you can start sprinting down this part a little bit. So keep going, keep going, and keep going. Keep going. <laughs> and you're going to hit you're going to hit this part right here. So don't run. This is why I actually slowed down. So don't sprint, all right? Because you head towards this part and you don't just want to fall right off here and hit your head but we're gonna be jumping off of that little cliff right there so I'm gonna make my way back over here just so I can get a running head start okay so I'm gonna you know stand here turn around and then I'm gonna start running as fast as I can you know tap an X and then I'm gonna hit square to jump and hopefully land right there perfectly okay so that's where you want to land if you fell all the way down then you didn't do it right so you want to make your way down this little cave look it's so creepy I think that's why I just stood here I was like this is creepy as hell so <laughs> keep walking down and you want to just hit the water here and you'll see that you can actually climb up directly in front of you so climb up right here and inside this pile of rocks that doesn't look special at all is your treasure all right he just reaches in there look at this he just reaches right in that little hole and he just pulls out four bricks of gold four gold bricks just like that so there it is. That's where the treasure was. Four gold bricks. You can go ahead and take it to the fence and you can sell it. As you can see right here, sell off for $2,000. So a nice quick $2,000 that you can make really early on in the game. This should help you if you haven't unlocked uh, the teleport options or anything like that. And I'm going to get into that in a future video. But All right, that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Hit that big red button. Turn on post notifications, like all my videos for the freshest and the most informative RDR2 content out. Peace.